Good morning. Yes, I am a huge diehard Star Wars fan and always have been, um, but when you get caught up with life and kids and being married and work, you don't always get a chance to check out every new cool piece of TV show or books or canon, whatever, comics that come out. Um, I'm just now starting to read all the new canon. I'm loving it so far. And the latest thing I've checked out is Rebels. Um, we do not have cable. And like I said, I've got little kids. So the time I have to watch and actually tune in for a TV show when it airs is pretty much nil. Everything I watch is either live streaming or checking it out at the video store or renting seasons from the library so I can watch when it's convenient. Are there any other parents out there? <laughs> okay, so finally got a chance to check out Rebel Season 1. I've been hearing so much talk about Rebel Season 4 premiering in October and I've been dying, dying to watch Rebel Season 1. So I actually watched it with my seven-year-old daughter. Um, she is now starting to watch all the movies. <clears throat> and so she watched them with me and we both loved season one. Um, for me personally, I really loved, right off the bat, you're introduced to a group of characters who have obviously been around each other for a long time. And you're introducing a new little kid into the group. So I like how the group dynamic isn't always like cohesive and they're always getting along and they kind of bug each other. It's like a family and I like that because it's real. <laughs> um, I think one thing they did really well with this is obviously it's Star Wars and you're going to get people interested in it, but they didn't just give you brand new characters that you don't know or you don't care about. Um, if you've never read any any canon, um, but they incorporated older characters in this and you see them the cameos throughout season one I love that R2-D2 and C-3PO popped up. I like that R2 knew he was on a secret mission and C-3PO was just clueless <laughs> as usual um, When Bail Organa popped up, it was awesome. I loved that moment um, And then when Lando popped up later in this in the season that was fantastic as well Another great thing they did is adding a lot of the score from the original trilogy, um, especially when Kanan lights his lightsaber and puts it, assembles it and lights it for the first time. I had chills, it was pretty cool. How can you not be finding that moment pretty awesome? So, and the music just added a whole nother level of intensity to it. Um, there were some episodes that were slow, but I felt they were kind of needed just to establish more character development, if that makes any sense. Um, and I mean, the main villain this season was the, the Grand Inquisitor, and he seemed like a pretty formidable opponent. I mean, I mean, spoiler territory. I mean, he dies at the last in the last episode, but I felt obviously he's been hunting Jedi for a long time. We don't get a lot of backstory about his character. We just see he's pretty good at um, thinking ahead and trying to trap Jedi, and with his lightsaber skills, I thought the whole spinning lightsaber thing was kind of cool sort of I really didn't I found it kind of like he was cheating in a way like use your skills to defeat somebody don't just have like a spinner for your lightsaber yeah that's what it's like a spinner that's why it's bugging me <laughs> um I do think it was a bummer they do kill that they killed him off so early but I understand why they did because we got to see little bits of Tarkin at the end so overall this season was really good it didn't I'm it wasn't like oh mind-blowing but I really did enjoy it um it's Star Wars it's it's stories that you're you're reading and hearing and new characters for the first time and to see it played out on screen I enjoy it um and you know what I'll take what I can get I'm not gonna complain about it so overall I really enjoyed the season I cannot wait to watch season two um, I'm gonna try to avoid as many spoilers as I can for season four, um, I'm on some Star Wars pages, so I know it is going to be hard <laughs> to avoid spoilers for that. Um, but overall, I really, really enjoyed this season. Okay, so for a rating for season one of Rebels, I am going to give it, hmm, I'm going to say 8.2 out of 10. Um, I would have liked to see just a tiny bit more of the universe I already know, um, just so in my mind I can kind of combine them together in a sense. Um, it also made me want to reread New Dawn. I read New Dawn, I want to say eight months ago, and it's Kanan and Hera, how they kind of found each other and how he was on the run and in hiding as a Jedi um, after Order 66. So I definitely want to reread that for sure. So, 
All right, chime in on the comments. Tell me what you think. Did you like Rebel Season 1? Was it your favorite or least favorite out of all three that are out so far? Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you like watching movie reviews, trailer reactions, and any other Star Wars content, please subscribe. All right, have a great day. Bye.